Hi everyone, my name is Ginger Broderick and I'm the host of the Ginger New York TV show. Welcome to my live show every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m. We're at the m and Studios on West 59th Street in New York City. We're live here and we also do live streaming all around the world. So if you're never in New York City for our Friday afternoon show, you can check us out on the web. I want to thank my crew today. We've got a Malik. We've got a Malik and we've got a Malik. I've got Malik trifecta today. It's November 8th. How exciting is that? I want to thank Josiane and Rich and we've got Rashim and Eric here in the audience as well. And we have a surprise guest that may be joining us. So thank you so much. Stick around because we have a lot of exciting things coming up on the show today. So my guest today He's the real, he's a co-founder of The Real Live Show. His name is Malik Work, and we're going to open up the show with a performance of one of my special request pieces that I asked him to perform. And I want to thank Malik Work for coming into the show today. And you're going to be performing... Chip Away. Chip Away. Chip, chip. I got the chisel in my hand for your heart. You don't know me yet. But you like me, at least that's a start. And I'm going to chip, chip away at the marble of your soul. I'm a sculpture. You're my sculpture. You're the form I'm going to mold, going to chip, chip away, throw at you a little phrase, spit a little gem, leave a jewel up in your brain. I'm an artist. That's my game. I put a picture in a frame. I get you thinking about my face, meditating on my name. Chip away, chip away. Every little thing I say is another step toward my goal. Getting closer to the day, you'll be mine. I'll have my way. But I'm patient, so I wait. Till I get the smile I want. Till I whip you in this shape. Be my clay. This is fate. A creator must create. Word to mom, I love your armor, but I got to chip away. Chink, chip, divots, slip to the ground. Bit by bit, I'm getting into this piece. So I continue to chip by chip. I'm chipping away at you, baby, bit by bit. You slowly becoming my lady. Just like this, patience, discovering your true form, inch by inch, day by day, I chip away, stage by stage, you taking shape. No rush, I just chip away, chip away, chip, chip, chip away, chip, chip. Maybe I don't even finish this, but me and you is to this music like sex is to a kiss. What I spit at you gently puts my chisel to your chip. I just weaken your resistance. One day soon, you're going to slip and fall in love. Then you'll be another masterpiece, statuesque in your stance. Now you're reaching out to me, perfect pose. Stand right there. Wow. I really am a beast. I done carved you out of stone. Now your essence is released. Chip away, clean you up from your head down to your feet. I ain't tripping. I'll keep chipping till my mission is complete. Maybe never. I don't really mind. It gives me pleasure. Every measure that I take makes the situation better. Every sentence, every letter I'm chipping, you getting wetter. Addicting you to my methods. It's chess and it isn't checkers. I'm strategic. Every single message I relay. Until we have our day, I just patiently chip away. I don't care how long it takes. I'm just going to chip away. I'm consistent with my game till my message is relayed, till you're finished in position, perfect images portrayed, and I'm standing in admiration of the beauty I have made. I've been working you for years, and I hope I make the grade because this piece you are becoming is entering another phase, this sublime. You could be the piece that could define this age. I'm amazed, by the way. I done chipped and chipped away. So much grace has emerged. You're gorgeous to the grain. Your image is everything words could not even explain. But still, I never rush. The world will just have to wait until the day I reveal you. Until then, I chip away. <laughs> Wonderful. Come on over to the chair, Malik. Welcome. Hey, Ginger. Great to see you. <laughs> Good seeing you I, too. The last time I saw you was a blue note when you were performing yes. that, and everybody just like jumped up screaming, like <laughs> you were talking to all of us. <laughs> because I am. <laughs> Where did you get the words for that that uh, piece? Is it called a song piece, rhyme? I'm not that sure. That was a performance piece because of the way that it came out. No uh -huh. background, no music. I think I wrote it more to be a song, but. Uh -huh. Last couple of years, I've been trying to turn a lot of my music into theater because I'm also an actor, uh -huh. and it's a little bit easier to pull off 
theater by yourself than it is music. Okay. And I realized that all the music, a lot of my lyrics were getting lost over the years because people just dance into the beat okay. and the flow. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a writer and I really want people to hear what I have to say. Your spoken word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's the premise behind hip hop, right? Yes. Getting the message behind? What made you decide to, uh, it to go in the direction of hip hop? Hip hop. Yeah. It wasn't really a decision uh -huh. as much as the context I was born in, mm -hmm. uptown, mm -hmm. uh, back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I know how old you are. <laughs> I'm from New York, and <laughs> hip hop was born right here yes. in New York, and uh -huh. I was in the thick of it. And I don't think I picked hip hop; it picked me. Uh -huh. You know, it picked all of us yeah. in the in the context that I was in school, uh, friends. Uh -huh. uh, me and my best friend started doing it together at 11, 12 years old. And I don't know; I never thought about it. It what? just it was, it was natural. There. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and then, how long does it take to memorize a piece like that? I mean, how long does it take to write something like that? I mean, it it feels like you were involved with a relationship for like 20 years to have the wisdom to write a piece like that. Ooh, I, I, I took my time uh, mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. That um, came up in the middle of a conversation. And uh, you know, my father's a sculptor. And so that, oh, okay. that watching a sculptor achieve his vision was a very s special part of my uh, youth. Mm -hmm. So I said something about Chip Away. Uh, I was talking to a lady and I was, you know, I'm always flirting with her. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, She's like, wow, you're kind of relentless. I'm like, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to ch keep chipping away, you know? <laughs> and then she was like, that's a good song. Yeah, I was like, it is. It is. <laughs> it was a real lady's favorite, Blue Note, that's for sure. <laughs> so thanks for doing it, because that was a special request of mine. But it's and not I think all it's really about ladies. Did you listen? It's, it's yeah. also about, uh, it's, it's comparing the, the journey to a woman's heart, mm -hmm. also the journey to all of my goals and desires mm -hmm. to, to be a uh, performer and to achieve my dreams and speak to people mm -hmm. for the for mm -hmm. a long time, the rest of my life, in some kind of meaningful way. And you said you're an actor, too. So so how did you get involved with the theater? Is that oh. Yeah. Once again, I don't remember it being a decision. Uh -huh. I think uh, my first performance, I played Malcolm X in my kindergarten graduation. Wow. How and tall were you at that <laughs> point? Six <laughs> foot? <laughs> Maybe somewhere <laughs> around here. And uh, my grandmother forced me to oh, the week before. I... Uh, I told her, I can't remember all these lines. This is ridiculous, Grandma. And as I finished the sentence, popped me upside there and told me, don't <laughs> never let me hear you crying about what you can't do. So uh -huh. I didn't have a choice, and I did it. And my mother was in the audience, and I saw a tear come down uh -huh. her eye, and I could detect that it wasn't really uh, sadness. I was like, what's that? You know, mm -hmm. the tear, I was like, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. And so I've been an actor since I, I got serious about it. After I hurt my back, so I stopped playing sports and I went to the theater in high school and never stopped. But for you, well, you have a wonderful presence. I've seen you out performing myself and it was like, wow, this guy's got a lot of star energy. Mm -hmm. And you've been on a lot of television and films yes, and mm -hmm. wonderful. Mm -hmm. 30 Rock, I mean, come on, that's that's big stuff. Thank you. Thank so you. is Ginger New York. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. I, this is what I'm most hey, psyched yes. about. Yeah, Very. seriously. Yes. Seriously. It's a lot of fun for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you for your time because we do have a long wait list, you know, for guests to come in and. I appreciate your patience, you know, no doubt. Thank for you your for time, having you know, me. to this come up. An immense honor. Julie. Yeah, thank you. And we got to give a shout to Chris, Swiss Chris. Swiss because, Chris helped right? us up. That's right. And playing Swiss in and out of our band for, for years and years. Yeah. And you guys did a piece together at the Blue Note called Movement 7. Now, is yes, that a did. band uh, or is it more of a collection of artists that come together for? That is a part of our conglomerate. Mm -hmm. In our scene, we have a bunch of musicians that are connected through hip hop and jazz mm -hmm. that work with each other no matter where they are in the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. And uh, me and Swiss are pretty close. One of the guys, Kevin and Jeekum, was from San Francisco. Mm -hmm. uh, another of the guy, uh, you know, uh, I didn't know so well, he joined in that right. time. Mm -hmm. uh, we're more of a, you know. Jay Rodriguez was part of that. Yeah, Jay mm -hmm. Rodriguez for years yes. also, but I yeah. know him mainly from Groove Collective, another sure. band. Uh -huh. It's just musicians that love and respect each other, uh -huh. uh, always supporting with each other, and it's 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 healthy to try different combinations because you get different music and you get mm -hmm. different different energies. response you could see from the audience yeah. reaction. I was there um, with my my uh, camera, and we had Rashim there as well taking photographs, and he did some adjustments on my camera that I got. A lot of great cool. photos. Yeah, I saw yeah, some I of did. them online. I yeah. posted and reposted for a little while. <laughs> yeah, they, they were only that good because of him. Okay. He was there and he's like, oh, you just got to do this. And I was like, oh, wow, I can take photos indoors. That's really fun. So you're a co-founder co of another group called The Real Live Show. The Real Live Show, yes. No, tell us about that. The Real Live Show is, um, is has been my life's work and my life's passion. 
uh, me and uh, the co-founder, my best friend also, business partner, Stimulus, uh, started it in, uh, in 1999, 2000, something like that. And um, we were fortunate enough to be playing with six, six famous jazz musicians right away. They kind of caught on to the hip hop thing and they chose us, I don't know why. And so we kind of uh, got heavy into the industry pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And um, so the real life show actually started, I wanted to do a hip hop reality series. That was the beginning of reality television. I mm -hmm. think there was one show on Survivor. Mm -hmm. So I went to my friends and I was like, guys, I wanna do a hip hop reality series. And uh, not only do I wanna, Basically, I just wanted to be the boss. I, I told them, let's do a TV series, but I'm the director. <laughs> 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 and that didn't always work out. Uh, <laughs> but um, it turned into a band. It turned into mm -hmm. more about the music. Uh -huh. And back then, the, you know, streaming technology was limited mm -hmm. and expensive. Mm -hmm. So most of our filming ended up being pretty budget and, mm -hmm. and, and low quality. But the music and the vibe that came out of it, uh, people still talk about. And uh, we'll never stop, but my guys are all over the world mm -hmm. doing different projects, and uh, yeah. I can't keep up with a seven, eight person band, so I'm doing stuff like this and uh -huh. stuff alone in, in the studio. Well, it's great to have you in because I like to know about the artist behind the performer, and so it's a great opportunity for me to get to know everybody because I've seen you out there you know, on the scene. And where, what are some upcoming projects? Because you did something recently at Lucky Chang's. Yes, I right? did something at Lucky Chang's yeah. with uh, Princess LaCaroo called the All Night Ball uh -huh. with Icon of Pop. Uh, some of the guys from Paris is Burning. Uh, it's a documentary out there about balling. I'm not going to try to explain it. It's uh, voguing. It was a Vogue competition, uh -huh. Vogue and Hustle competition. Mm -hmm. That was super cool. Uh -huh. um, uh, what am I doing nowadays? What is coming up? You yes, say? Uh -huh. uh, what's coming up? I'm doing a show this Sunday at New Blue, 10:30 p.m. Okay. It is in honor of the late Butch Morris, mm -hmm. which was a big brother mentor of mine that I met at New Blue years ago, and he passed away earlier this year. So every Sunday this year, they've been doing uh, oh, benefits for him. Uh huh. And. Uh, what else is coming up? Um, You're taking some classes too, oh, you Oh, yes, all year. I've been uh -huh. taking classes at DubSpot. Uh -huh. uh, because What's that? It is a live electronic, not a live, uh, it's an electronic music and DJ school. Mm -hmm. And I think the first of its kind. Uh -huh. and, uh, Can girls join? Of course. <laughs> there's, right. some, there's some cute. I'm learning stuff. to sing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you uh, never know where I'm going to be at 60, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll be doing something, something. creative. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why not? I felt right. old at the place because a lot of kids are wicked young. They're still in college, really? just uh -huh. taking semesters off. Uh -huh. I did. I studied Ableton Live, sound design, and uh, DJing. Oh, interesting. Uh, because I want to make my own music for the rest of my life, and Good I felt you. that I was lacking that. Uh-huh. Now, are you only a singer? Do you play any instruments? Well, now I'm learning keys. Good and for you. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I play the computer. Nowadays, the more you can do with mm -hmm. uh, all these software programs, the more you can achieve musically. Yeah, and I am, I'm a big believer of having as many skills as possible. Yes, One of the great things about me being a producer, I'm learning Final Cut Pro. I mean, and that is there a very complicated editing software, but I keep chipping away. Chip and away, exactly. Every I day, love it. try to learn a little more, at least to yeah. spend some time on it, and uh -huh. one day, you're there. Yeah. Chip away, yeah. great reference. What's the whistle around your neck? The whistle. It caused us a little problems when we were trying to sound you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> this is uh, uh, Falling Whistles. It has a little FW there. Falling Whistles is an organization I got involved with maybe two, three years, no, four, five years ago that uh, told me about the deadliest war in the world uh, in the Congo. Uh, mm. It had killed over five million people in about four or five years, and I was angry oh that I had never even heard Me about either. it. And in basically, the war is over uh, conflict minerals, uh, specifically coltan, and uh, a lot of the world's companies are benefiting and uh, from the exploitation of this country through um, through. Colton is used in all of our cell phones and computers, and every last one of them. Never even heard of it. And that's why you don't hear about the war either, because we're all kind of a part of it with the things in our pockets. Well, that so uh, it's worse than a diamond, you know. Diamond exactly. Mm -hmm. And so I was, I was, I was like, wow, I've never even heard of this. And the whistle came from a guy, a friend of ours, Sean Carrasso, the founder, went over there, found a bunch of child soldiers in a uh, in a in a prison camp, talked to them for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Lo uh, and basically started an organization when he got back to the States 
to rehabilitate child soldiers. Oh. Um, and the whistle was assembled. The kids who were too small to hold a gun, they gave whistles and sent them to the front lines. Wow. They would become human shields once they got shot up. Wow. And it was just a sick thing that kind of shocked him into forming this organization. Since then, it's grown mega, and now it's become a global coalition to end the war in the Congo. Wow. So now they realize mm. that the child soldier thing was just a Band-Aid on the problem. Mm. And to really affect change, you have to attack the systems. I can't imagine being a parent and thinking that my child is a soldier at Ooh, five or Kidnapped ten. and taken somewhere oh. else in soldiers, you know. They're not like of the state and neighborhood oh. soldiers or anything. Yeah. So the actually, the, the whistle has been so effective in doing just what happened is that it, le it raises the conversation because mm -hmm. people are like, why do you have a whistle around your neck? Yeah. Is that a rape whistle or is that a dog <laughs> whistle? And I'm like, no, actually, it's quite serious. And they're like, oh, I never know. Yeah. Almost every person has never heard I of never the would have guessed. in the Congo. I never would have guessed <laughs> that you would have done it. I, I had a client one time who worked at the UN, and she was assigned to the Congo. And she said that when some of her colleagues would travel there, would, they would be on a jumper plane and it would be shaking so much, you know, they would grab each other and hold on to each other because they were afraid that they were going to crash, Ooh. you know. And it's like, why are you going there, you know? <laughs> but, you know, it's awareness and yeah, people we need are doing to know. projects. Mm -hmm. We need to know what goes on in the rest of the world in our name, mm -hmm. you know, because I love my iPhone. Oh, <laughs> what would we do without it? I mean, we're texting all the time and like, yeah. and, and congratulations, you yeah. had like, Almost 10,000 hits on your press release for oh, coming out cool, today. Cool. So, uh, wow, oh, you're, really you, got, you got it out there, <laughs> you know? We really targeted a lot, you know, of uh, youth and uh, people in, interested in hip-hop and jazz, cool, funk, cool. right? Because that's kind of your areas. And it was just exploding. I cool, couldn't believe cool, it. it was cool. really nice to watch well, all of it. Thank you for reaching out like that. Yeah. yeah. And it's fun because it also shows me, you know, what my audience is interested in, in watching and listening mm. to. And it's not everybody gets to approach you, you know? Nope. No, nope. no. Nope. <laughs> what was it? Don't. Yeah, and um, and I just really want to thank Swiss Chris because he's been uh, a great guy for me to meet, and and he's been uh, he's opened the door to a lot of also different guests that come through. Yeah, mentor me. wonderful. Yeah, he's really great, and what well, he's traveling all over the world, and yes, he is. you got to see him last night, which none of us have seen him. I think in <laughs> four months. I was actually upset with him because he hasn't been answering my texts for the last <laughs> couple of months. <laughs> Found out he was on the road as yeah, usual with yeah, great musicians. Yeah. Anything else uh, you want to talk about? What uh -uh. about words of advice, you know? If words of advice? Yes. Do you have any? I'm just trying to get by every day. I don't know. Uh, work hard, train, say your prayers, eat your vitamins. There you go. <laughs> right? Watch the construction in the streets so you don't trip and fall. <laughs> don't, mm. don't drink too much. Uh. Yeah. Well, you look great. And what I would like to say congratulations to my girlfriend, uh, uh -huh. Juliet, for... Uh, completing, uh, designing uh, our new apartment. She's uh -huh. been working on it forever. It's finally done, and I'm proud of her, and I want to say I love you, baby. Oh, that's great. That's really <laughs> wonderful. Did you chip away at her? Oh, or she yes. just falls I'm, in, no. she'll fell in love with you right away. I'm <laughs> still chipping away every day. <laughs> <laughs> so is your partner here, Stimulus? Is he around in the house? Oh, he didn't make it. Uh -oh. He's going back to Germany, Berlin. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow, so he has a bunch of things to tie up. Yeah. So he told me he wanted to come by and support. So I said, if you come by and support, I'm dragging you up on stage with me. But uh, I, I still got something to do on my own. You want to step up? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. We, Let's do we're, it. We're running really great cool. on time, and so uh, Malik Work, thank you very much for coming in today. When you when you finish up, you'll come I'll back come over, back right? Over. We have a few more things to talk about. He old butter. Catch me at the party. Drinks on the way there, drinks in the lobby. Brother drank till I had to say, sorry. Just trying to be happy. Word to my mommy. I moved out on my own, out to Dumbo. I started concocting up the dumb flow. I did Crown Heights, East Elmhurst. Man, F throwing these parties. I want to sell verse. Shows, festivals, in my loft re resi, made so much money. Cops came to arrest me. Lawyer got me off, ACD. Another victory, this city cannot see me. So I'm crafting plots up in my basement. Learned from my mistakes, we can't erase it. But we build in real life, Izzy. My whole regiment put it down, got busy. On stage training, getting tight with Stimmy. Crowd in the spot, we rock, that's a gimme. Drums, bass, guitar, keys. Wow, we could do a whole lot with these. 
East Village groupies, picnics and trees, please, God giving these. Before you know it, we OGs, but we really don't got no real cheese, so I'm in front of 62 Avenue C, New Blue, charging five, 10 beans, 4.30 in the morning, way back to Queens. Music in my mind, the world in my jeans, and I just can't seem to get enough. What's up? There's nothing else to discuss. I'm 30-something, come on, I'm in a rush. My credit's effed up, I'm a borderline lush. Why am I still in this city? The other day I almost smoked some ooh willy. Then they feel hip hop in other places. Maybe I should get up out of the matrix. So I dipped on over to Parry with as much crap as I could carry. It was heavy, it hurt my back. Parisians were sneaky, ambush, attack. You in Europe, your behind is still black. History is deep, boy, don't forget that. And so I wrote some rhymes and came back, back to the city that smokes the most crack, back to the block I built my skills at, back to the threat of a terrorist attack, back where the dollars you add or subtract, back with me and my boy back to back. New York City, that's my city. A lot of other spots is hot, but not really. The greedy, the needy, the garbage, graffiti, the city of insomniacs, we not sleepy. Projects, hustle, progress, struggle. On the same block you say peace, you find trouble. That's my city. Grimy, gritty, shisty, shifty. That's my city. New York City, that's my city. A lot of other spots is hot, but not really. <laughs> New York City, right. New York City, right. <laughs> wow, he's talking about it. He really knows his stuff. He's been here. Born and <laughs> raised, born and raised. What's it like to be in this city all your life? Ooh. I mean, you know, um, I came here when I was in my early 20s, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I, I was, like, from the country. I Duh. mean, it, 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 is it, like, annoying to, like, I had never known <laughs> anywhere else. And so, uh, except for I spend, you know, summers down south with my grandmother in the uh -huh. country, it was the opposite, which I love, but I can never live there okay. because it's so slow and hot. But um, yeah, New York, I was, I was born mm -hmm. St. Luke's Hospital right in Harlem. Uh, Good for you. Moved out to Queens, moved, lived in every borough. And um, actually in my late 20s, I got super frustrated. I started to really resent it and I needed a change of, mm -hmm of pace, a, a change of direction, and uh, I, I started to dislike it, so I moved to Paris. I picked up everything. I talked about it a little in the mm -hmm. piece, uh, mm -hmm. dipped on over to Paris. And uh, Paris, you know, as an artist, it's supposed to be a city of lights, and mm -hmm. you know, I definitely wander the street and write new songs and blah, blah, blah. Actually, that's where I wrote New York City. Oh, okay. Because the point to my uh -huh. story is, after a year in Paris, I was like, what the F am I doing here? Yeah. You know, New York, you know, I didn't like this, I didn't <coughs> like that, but. That's where I'm from. I am not like these people. I'm a uh, New Yorker. Yeah. That's where I was born and raised, where my family is. And so I wrote that piece uh, after only being out there a little while, just yeah. dreaming and finally learning to love where I was from. Mm -hmm. And uh, that piece was kind of celebration of I'm going home. Good for you. Because <laughs> I always wanted to move here. Mm -hmm. and, and then when I came here, it was so hard. I mean, mm -hmm. it, there was a lot of competition. and and you know schools and work and it was a really tough place I didn't feel that it necessarily had the nurturing as <laughs> maybe a smaller town that's a little bit slower and has the neighbors watching you because your parents are working you know and and I, I always am interested in know about native New Yorkers I mean how do you keep your spirit alive in a city where it can be tough yeah you know? yeah you, I mean you, you have to <coughs> leave sometime that's mm -hmm. the one thing I find if I could just go away for a weekend here and there a yeah. couple weeks here and there da 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 then I'm refreshed, uh -huh. but all, always after a couple of weeks, I'm like, <laughs> I need all the stores is closed, ain't nobody around, you know, I'm not a driver, so I can't get nowhere in any other cities. So uh, always after a couple of weeks, I'm like, mm, I'm yeah. gonna go back to New York. Is there a favorite place for you to travel? Uh, I love Paris now as a visitor. Okay. You know, uh -huh. living there wasn't the best, but uh -huh. uh, as a visitor, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, it was my first major city, yeah. The f favorite place I've ever traveled was probably Florianopolis, Brazil. Brazil. Uh -huh. um, I loved uh, Beirut. I loved. Uh, I've never been there. Belgrade, um, and uh, I loved Istanbul. And oh, that's yeah. one place I've always Ooh, wanted so to go. So old and like uh -huh. Greece just and Istanbul. Huge structures and yeah. it's a 
it's a different world. You know, the West is kind of has its own thing. You go over there like, okay, this is different. Wow, a lot of history too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You see I think it, Jackie O mentioned that was her favorite place to Istanbul? travel. Istanbul? Yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. cool, cool. Tur in Turkey. I've never made it over there. I did make it to France like three years ago. I went to the wine country and that was really interesting. Beautiful. Great experience. You know experience. what? I was so broke when I moved to Paris. I never left the city. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's yeah. tough. <coughs> yeah, because it's a lot of countryside. It's where the Tour of France, you know, travels. And I had a friend whose parents um, bought a vineyard, and so I got no to way. got to live on an estate, like a Ooh, thousand year old estate. That's where I hear like you yeah. really get the France. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and we were sitting. So, so, um, we have stimulus in the house. Demi oh my is in gosh! The building. He came in. <laughs> So you want to come up and say hello? He missed New York <laughs> City, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he should introduce, yeah. We're getting down to our last couple of minutes, so he's going to have to come up quick if he wants a little air time. Say yeah. hello. When was the last time you saw him? I see. I see him is in the, in the city every uh, few months, so probably like four oh, months okay. ago. Uh -huh. uh, he's a man on the road. Wow. Just come on, you be in the middle. Yeah, so. just walk in front of the cameras. It's okay. <laughs> Stimmy Stim in the building. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, so you live in Berlin. You guys have been friends for a long time. Very long time. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Is it like a brother, I yes, guess? Yes, uh, uh -huh. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> My mother calls him son. Oh, yeah. that's wonderful. And uh, yeah, we, we were together last night. Stim is around okay. the world DJing and that's why I had to start coming up with my own little performance things because uh -huh. he's not all the way, always around. And so. Uh, oh, I know. like your website. I look, looked at all the photographs and you guys do modeling too. Cool. It's really <laughs> wonderful. This is great. I started to get a little nervous. You know, so <laughs> I got to be really cool for these guys tomorrow. <laughs> well, we're about down to like the last minute. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're going to roll in a, a new video that you have, right? Roll it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, What's the name of it? Let me see some ID. Let some. S oh yeah, and because you you have to do that, so right? You yeah. know, checking around people when you it's just like you have to be. I worked the door for about ten years, off and on, at spots around the city. Uh -huh. At New Blue, at uh, 105 Rivington, uh, one of Stem and, and DJ Moments parties, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was it was kind of the story of uh, what that does to your to your spirit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's trying to get by. <laughs> I know. I was legit by the time I moved here, but I hear stories <laughs> girls are 14 years old trying to get through clubs, and I was like, wow. So, Control Room, I need for you to roll in his video. You got it for us? Yeah, that's there it. He is. Work on deck, behave wild. Cool. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah, so much. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. for coming in. Yeah. <laughs> In my position and I'm fitting in it nicely. Upsetting my chemistry isn't very likely. I make it rise with size, I get it lively. You wanna try me? Let me see some ID. It's a check license in the sky, please. Yeah, let me see some ID. You imposters aren't getting by me. This is NYC, let me see some ID. Malik work on deck, behave wisely. You looking suspect, let me see some ID. Nah, sorry, I don't know none of your posse. And I don't care who's holding, cause I got cheese. You got no market here, you and I spot B. You wanna fit in smooth, you gotta watch me. Sorry, what's your name, homie, remind me. Matter of fact, fuck that, show me some ID. Mm, who told you y'all could come around me? Taking mental notes on how I got these camera phone focus recorders on green. Trying to catch me up, but your boy is too clean. Who he? Never mind, it's my scene. And I don't trust no new face, nah, I mean. Scavengering off my chicks, that old scheme. That's why you ain't on my team, there's no fiend. In my position, and I'm fitting in it nicely. Upsetting my chemistry isn't very likely. I make it rise, besides, I get it lively. You wanna try me? Let me see some ID. It's a check license in the sky, please. Yeah, let me see some ID. You want past this? I'm getting by me. This is NYC. Let me see some ID. Who's that cat that's hovering too close? Breath all hot and extra verbose. And keep giving me pounds like we fam. And telling me crap like I gives a hot damn. On my Nino, what's up is I don't know you. And no, we ain't that cool, you can't just roll through. So smoke two times and pass that leaving. Poof, be gone with all the smoothing and cheese and intruder alert. Switch modes, covert gestures. Secret after party, I'll just text ya. We love to skate on cats, New York Rangers. Cause round here we do not talk to strangers. Excuse me, but I'm not smooth with losers. I'm unfamiliar with those maneuvers. Henceforth, you 
walk to come with I be. You gonna have to show some kind of ID. In my position and I'm fitting in it nicely. Upsetting my chemistry isn't very likely. I make it by these sides, I get it lively. You wanna try me? Let me see some ID. It's a check license in the sky, please. Yeah, let me see some ID. You and pass this aren't getting by me. This is MYC, let me see some ID. Yay! Yay! We're off. No, we're off the Yay. air. <laughs> 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 was it fun? Yeah, Yay. it was absolutely, Yay. absolutely. Woo.